Hi everyone and welcome back to the Bravo Challenge. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add lolly files to add some cool animations to your app designs. Add a lolly file to add amazing animations to bring your app to life. So let's get started with how to add a lolly file to your Figma design for your Bravo app. Now the first thing we want to do is make sure that we install the Lottie Files plugin for Figma. So if you don't have that already, go ahead, you can search for that and make sure that is installed. And then we're going to jump right into our Figma file here. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove my animation right now. And I'm going to show you folks how to add it yourselves. So once we're in our app design here, we're going to go ahead and open up our Lottie plugin. Once that is open, if you have an account, you can go ahead and sign in. If not, you can hit sign up and sign up for an account. All right. And once you're logged in, what you can do is you can actually go ahead and come to the search here and you can type anything into the search field and search for an animation. Now I'm going to go ahead and type in recipe since I am making a recipe app. And I'm going to click on this second one right here. Now you can preview and see what the animation is going to look like. And to add it, what we're going to do first is come down to our background color here. I'm going to turn the opacity all the way down to zero so that it's transparent and we don't get a white background. And I'm going to go ahead and click convert to GIF. Now it's going to take a little bit depending on the animation to convert to a GIF. And once it is done converting, you will see your animation here and we can go ahead and tap on add to Figma. So that will add our file into Figma. We can close the plugin and you'll see over here on the left in your layers, when you use the Lottie plugin, it'll actually add it into Figma with the exact tag and setup that Bravo needs. So you don't need to rename anything. We're just going to go ahead and drag it into the correct container that we wanted to. Resize it how we want. And there we go. Now we have Lottie files in our app. 